Hi, I'm Tony Denton, Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of University of Michigan Health System, Michigan Medicine. As we deal with the continuing COVID-19 crisis, it remains clear to me that we are all in this together. In this unprecedented time, we at Michigan Medicine are even more cognizant of the need to partner with our community on a local, regional, and global scale to ensure that we can continue to provide safe and reliable care. I'd like to share three important facts about COVID-19 and the real value of community partnerships. First, personal protection equipment, or what we call PPE. We've been overwhelmed by the support of our community through our donation drive for personal protective equipment for our employees. With these generous donations, we have continued to provide our employees with proper protective equipment despite disruptions in the normal supply chain purchase and delivery process. We've received hundreds of thousands of gloves, masks, and face shields from people who live as close as Ann Arbor and as far away as China. That our frontline healthcare providers need to care for all of our patients in a safe and reliable manner. Second, food. Access to nutritious food is a social determinant of health at all times, but the pandemic has heightened the already large food insecurity challenge present to many in our community. Michigan Medicine has continued a long tradition of partnering with food gatherers on a food collection drive for the last several weeks. In our first week, our community donated almost 5,000 pounds of food worth over 4,000 meals. Also, 1,300 or so non-food items have been donated. Third, blood. During this pandemic, our supplies of life-saving blood have been challenged as many drives have been canceled or not well attended. We've been working with our local American Red Cross partners to encourage donation, including a special drive that we had on March 26 that led to the collection of 59 units of blood. Each unit can save up to three lives. We've arranged for additional drives to take place later this month, and I encourage all of you to make appointments at redcrossblood.org. The COVID-19 pandemic is proving what we already knew. Let me end where I started. We are stronger together. We will get through this if we work in partnership and take care of everyone in our community. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.